Hey, it's Danielle and I am back with another process video. Today I'm going to be scrapbooking with my Felicity Jane That One Day kit and I'm going to be using this photo that I took of my daughter's feet. Now I wanted to use this picture today because I wanted to, I guess, tell the story of these little sandals. I've always loved saltwater sandals and I honestly couldn't wait till I had a little kid so that I could buy some itty bitty ones. These are the first saltwater sandals that I bought my little girl and I bought them at the beginning of the summer and it was just exciting for me and I can imagine that um, I'll be excited every year to buy her a new pair of sandals for the summer. But she's definitely growing out of this pair and the weather is getting cooler so we don't have very many sandal days so I definitely wanted to get this story told. Now I'm using a square photo and I wanted to make it look like a Polaroid picture and so I'm just mounting it on some white paper and I'm just trying to decide what direction I want her uh, feet to be facing. Uh, but when I get that decided, I head back over to my kit and uh, decide what, what embellishments I wanted to use. As you can see, I picked through my kit and chose some different things that I thought would look good on my layout today. I also printed out the exclusive email that is sent out to subscribers and cut a few elements out of that as well and just got everything ready to put on my layout. Now I wanted to put some layers behind my photo but I also wanted you to be able to see that that was a Polaroid type print and so I took some of the wood grain paper and I trimmed it down so that there would be a nice border around my whole picture. I also decide to uh, tear the bottom edge of that wood grain paper. I knew I wanted to add a little bit more texture to this layout and that's always a great way to do that. Once I get that into place, I just work on the other layers that I wanna add. I knew I wanted to use some of that floral paper that came in this month's kit. It's probably my favorite uh, paper this month. And so I just took a little scrap of it and tuck it behind my photo. And then I layer a couple tags along with that. This craft tag just came in the kit, but this black and white stripe tag was part of the cut apart. And I just really like the way all of those colors and patterns work together. I think it looks really cute. And I'm being pretty picky about the way these look this time. Sometimes I'm particular and sometimes I'm not, but this time I wanted everything to look just right. And so I fuss with it until it looks pleasing to my eye. And then um, once everything is just how I like it, I take my tape runner and I glue everything down to my background paper. From here, I just work on getting the rest of my little embellishments added to my layout. Uh, I just place those two circles to the left-hand side. They say every day and happy. And then I'm gonna work on a little cluster on the bottom of my photo here. I'm taking this polka dot print paper that I got from the subscriber email and I'm just gonna cut them into little banner shapes and I'm gonna add those, or I should say layer them behind these two labels that I have. I really wanted to use some more black and white print on this layout because of that black and white striped tag and I thought this little polka dot print was the perfect way to do that. Besides, I think hands down my favorite print or pattern of all time is a white paper with a little black polka dot. So I can always find an excuse to add that to my layout. Now, because this is a layout that is about our everyday life, when I picked my embellishments, I made sure to pick ones that fit that theme. So we have the hello happy circles there or everyday happy circles to the left of my photo. And then my flyer says best day ever. And then the hello today is something that I cut from the exclusive printable that is emailed to subscribers. So they're just, all of the words that I'm using definitely fit the theme of our everyday life. And now I'm just getting everything glued down to this layout, making sure everything's in its place. Um, I stuck down my flare with some of that red tape just because it's extra strong. And when I glue down these words, I'm just using enough of this tape runner to tack them down um, because I'm going to run this layout over to my sewing machine and just stitch those words. And you can see that here. Um, and so I didn't, they didn't need to be super stuck down because obviously these stitches are going to keep them in place. 
Now I'm just getting all of my strings trimmed off and I'm going to take some washi tape and just secure my ends of my stitching. And then I have these little bits of doily that were actually just on my desk from a previous layout. And so I take one of them and I just tuck behind my tags. I really like these little pink doilies for layouts about my daughter. And I think this one looks just really cute stuck there behind my tags. It was at this point that I decided that I wanted to use that cute little polka dot stencil to add some texture to my layout. I could have worked around this photo and just uh, tried to be careful and not get it on my layers, but I didn't really want to have to worry about it. And because that Hello Today is stitched down on my layout, I couldn't just pull that whole photo off of my layout. I actually had to cut it. So uh, as you could see a little bit earlier there, I just cut around my stitching and um, now I'm going to quickly mark out where the edges of my photo are. Um, I'm just using my pen to put little dots sort of at the corners or uh, just where any of the embellishments might go. I'm not too worried if you if they don't get covered up. They're just super tiny little dots and I don't even think that you'll really be able to see them if they don't get covered up. But once I've done that, I just take my little stencil and my molding paste and I'm just not changing the color of this or anything. I'm just keeping it white and I'm just randomly putting these little dots on. I'm not being too picky about where or how they look. And I just show you a little bit of this because I actually make a couple versions of this background paper. Um, I say that I'm not being too picky where those dots are, but I obviously was a little picky. Um, but so I just, I show you a little bit of this, but you'll see the end result here um, and how it ended up turning out. So because that molding piece is, is, you know, has texture to it and it's bumpy. I wasn't really sure how these circles were going to stick back down to my layout. So I just got out my hot glue gun and I used hot glue to get those stuck in place. And that seems to be pretty good. And I, I like that that pink circle kind of sticks up a little bit now and um, it's not perfectly flat to my layout. I think that adds a nice texture to my layout and I just really like it. So from here, I just need to get my journaling in place and I did that off camera. So as you can see, it's done. And I just talk about how happy I was to buy these sandals, but it, but that it's kind of bittersweet because she's growing out of them. And um, that's just a little reminder of how fast life seems to be going. So because my, because my journaling kind of talked about the bittersweet part of that, I didn't really like the flare that said best day ever because um, it wasn't totally the best day ever. I don't like to think about my daughter growing up. So I changed that out for a different different one that says right now. Still totally fits my theme and I actually like it a little better. Um, I think it looks cute with my layout. Um, and then I just use my date stamp to get the date put on here. And um, I call this layout good. So I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, be sure to head on over to the Felicity Jane blog to see more pictures of this layout and also some of the layouts and projects that the other girls are doing. I will put that link down below. Uh, so I will hopefully see you guys all real soon. Bye-bye.